Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be comparing two numbers. 2 to the power square root of 13 and 13. And we're going to find out which number is larger. Now we have an integer and a very irrational number. It's not only irrational, it's also transcendental. You can go ahead and check it out, like what the definition is, because that's not our topic today. So how do we compare these two numbers? One of them is very, very irrational, and the radical is in the exponent. What's the relationship? How do you compare these kinds of things? Well, one thing that you can think about is maybe take this number and raise it to the power of square root of 13, and take the 13 and raise it to the power of square root of 13. The reasoning behind this, which is something that uh, sometimes works, is that this is going to become 2 to the power 13, which is 8192, but what about this one, right? How do you say, simplify something like this or compare it to 8192? So does this help? Probably not. So here's the trick that I'm going to use. 2 to the power 11 is equal to 2048. And again, you might be questioning, why are you going off of 2048? The reason behind that is because this is very close to a power of 13. Did you know that? Well, I didn't know that either, but I made a chart, a spreadsheet. So now I know when I look it up, 13 to the third power is 2197. Nice. We got a nice comparison. So, in other words, from here, we can safely say that even though we're looking for the large number, I usually write the smaller number first on the left-hand side. I don't know. It's just a habit. So, 2 to the 11th power is less than 13 cubed. So far, so good. Okay. But how do you transition to 2 to the power square root of 13 from here? Right? Why well, is the thing? This implies... 2 to the power 11 over 3 is less than 13. What did I do? I raised both sides to the power 1 third. I can show it. Sometimes I don't show my work and people complain about it. And sometimes I show my work and people complain about it because they say, oh, you're taking too long. This can be done in 30 seconds. That's not the point. I mean, the goal is to explain what is going on here. And if there's any alternatives, also talk about them. Anyways, so now we know that 2 to the power 11 thirds. And this is significant. You know why? Because we got a power of 2 on the left. And on the right, we got 13. What were we trying to compare? Do you remember? We were trying to compare this number and this number. So we got one of the numbers and the other one is a power of 2. So the next thing we got to do is we need to be able to compare these two numbers. This one and this one. Can we do that? Maybe. <laughs> or if we can transition to a radical exponent, that would be nice. So here's what I'm thinking. If we had, and since 13 is on the larger side, and here, is it going to be on the larger side? But here's the thing. I want to get something like this. 2 to the power root a is less than 2 to the power 11 thirds. This would be a nice result. Can we get that? So this implies root a is less than 11 thirds, and this implies a is less than 120 over 9, and 121 over, I'm sorry, 121 over 9 is 13 and 4 ninths, because 13 times 9 is 117. So a can be 13 because we want to keep it as close as possible, right? A equals 13. Would be a good choice, I think. So what is that supposed to mean, though? It just means that if you go back here, A can be 13, which means 2 to the power square root of 13, or going off of this first, because this was uh, before that. So this means root 13 is less than 11 thirds, which implies 2 to the power root 13 is less than 2 to the power 11 thirds. After all, this pen goes crazy. Anyways, 2 to the power root 13 is less than 2 to the power 11 thirds. You get the idea? Okay, 
Cool. Now, what do we do with this? We're going to use the transitive property. What is that supposed to mean? It means, first of all, let's go back here. We know that this is true, right? 2 to the power 11 thirds is less than 2 to the power... Wait a minute. Did we get that? Okay, let's see. We got 2 to the power... Okay, this is what I was trying to get. Not the power of 2. Sorry about that. So here's, here's my goal. From here, I confused myself. We got square root of 13 is less than 11 thirds. Yes, this is what I was trying to get, right? And then this should give me 2 to the power root 13 is less than 2 to the power 11 thirds. Great. But we also know that 2 to the 11 third is less than 13. How do we know that? Well, from here, right? So now if you put these two together, what do you get? Using the transitive property, we can attach it here. So you get 2 to the power root 13 is less than 2 to the power 11 thirds, and that's less than 13. And we're trying to compare these two numbers. So now 13 is greater than 2 to the power root 13. And since we were looking for the larger number, 13 is the winner. Yay, the integer wins. Nice. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time in another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.